Where's it going? We come in peace. Oh. <laughs> that ain't going to work. <laughs> Had to try. Well, howdy, all you cool creatures. I'm Cryptid. Welcome to the Cryptid Place YouTube channel. And today we are playing more My Time at Sandrock. Last time we went into those ruins to find more algae samples. And we also fought Larry's cousin who had stolen his wife or tried to steal his wife basically and wanted to get rid of Larry. And quite a lot of other stuff has happened as well. And now we have even more stuff left to do. So, so that's very exciting. The only content warnings that I have to include for you would be the fact that I gush and make strange noises and coo whenever Logan is on screen. Catherine, this is for you. Um, I also have to warn you about the photosensitive epilepsy warning, but I will always put a warning on this screen if there are any flashing lights. So with that out of the way, let's get started. At the moment, all I have are missions. I have to wait for the rest of the stuff. Right, I'm gonna get my butt out to the northern spaceship runes just to mine stuff up, I guess. Mm -hmm. So this new algae tech means we can get back to planting soon. Well, woo, well, no rush, but hurry up. Thanks. Seeing this amazing oasis cryptid, I just want to thank you for doing so much for this town. I think without all your hard work, me and Riri might still not might not still be here to witness this. So mad, I'm literally almost to the next level, but I have to get my builders to bed. Now I shall go to bed. Although it might be fun to show you the inside of my house because I've been changing it a lot. Uh, this room's still not being used at the moment. Neither is this. I might make this like a dining room. But who knows, this might also be. Um, I have two viable rooms for kids' rooms as well, so... To change that. <laughs> There's a bookcase in front of there. Two rooms I can use as kids' rooms and my room. And my porch. Anyways. Yes. I may as well turn this in and then put up the Yakmal station. <laughs> huh? Hmm. See ya. I love knowing now that what this bridge is for is the fact that we have a river running through here. Installed that. Hmm. Why is that just rolling? Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> this is the Dead Sea. I see. It's actually really cool. Thank you. 
Hey, dude. The dots again. Of course. Don't you ellipses me, Larry. Oh. Ah, you're here. Look at this. These are the latest upgrades I've designed for the mobile suit at the request of City Hall. By making these enhancements, it will become mobile suit mode F. F stands for farming. Yes, mode F. I knew you'd appreciate this as much as I do. And why not? Ah, uh, sure. You might say, but aren't missiles and plasma swords more exciting? Think of it this way. Have you ever seen a gun... A mobile suit doing farming? No. We're treading on new sacred ground here. Heck yeah. On the front is a custom rotavator, capable of churning any terrain. And on the back, an all-purpose multi-directional spray. Impressive, huh? Here, these are the diagrams. When you've constructed these add-ons, please come and store them on the suit. I'll be waiting. You got it. Mm. Yes, just a few more jobs scripted and then there will be nothing left for us to build except for powerful and awesome technology. The things we actually want to build. Patience triumphs all. He's not wrong. I have some stuff for you. This. Gave him his a space suit and he's very happy about it. Well, now I can start on those things. That's exciting. I actually totally forgot that he was going to give me that stuff. I mean, I'm still bearings, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Zinc titanium alloy. Zinc titanium alloy and chromium steel bearings. Well, I might as well put my builder to bed again. Should be able to finish all that stuff for a, a mobile suit tomorrow. Okay. Research center, of course we know what that is, but there's a small story thing on my map. There. I have uh, everything to turn in, I guess. go look at the I think it's near the oasis I'll go there in a second oh hey mysterious man seems like it might be a purchase thing wow Minister Burgey Boy, are you okay? <laughs> Water somehow harming me? Ugh. Holy smokes, quit breathing it in. I don't need to remind you that as Chief Safety Inspector, this is not a good look. Wait a sec, did you have a nightmare again? Let me help you up. Hmm. Yes, the nightmare. I see myself here, standing by the oasis. The kids are about to cross the oasis with their shoes on. I rush to try and stop them, but when I open my mouth, no sound comes out, so I dive into the oasis. I try to be a bridge to the other side, but my body isn't long enough. They step their shoes off my face and into the water. Then I scream and wake up here. Mm hmm? Jeez, that's weird. Hey that there! Weird. Oh, hey, Cryptid. Thinking of ta taking the old path across the oasis? Well, too much farther now, I'm afraid. 
Uh, it's Burgess. Uh, let's skip to the part where you asked me to build something. Is Burgess okay? Thank you. Oh, I'm fine. Just sleepwalking, I guess. Keep walking up here in the oasis, fully clothed, but choking on the water always wakes me right up. This is alarming behavior. Hmm. If only we had some way of more conveniently crossing the oasis now that the water level's risen. Some kind of object that connects two points on land that would be otherwise inaccessible between each other. But what could that be? Why don't you try lying down again and let me walk over? Uh, how about building a bridge? Aha! Uh -huh. A bridge, eh? It's just crazy enough to work. Hmm. Splendid. A bridge it is, then. I'll speak with Mayor Trudy on this plan immediately. Cryptid, if you would, please keep an eye on your mailbox for updates. See ya! Ow, might stop in at the clinic first. All that thrashing around in the oasis has given me a couple of open wound skis. See ya! Uh, yeah, take care of yourself, Minister. See ya, Cryptid. Oh, that was weird. But I love it. The Zero model is far more tuned and allows for maneuverability and a twofold increase in power. Granted, the extra maneuverability allows for more controlled experience, but the Leaf model is, an, is excellent for aim. The pinpoint accuracy of the Gauss rifle is just astonishing. It also has a far greater amount of field testing. That's an interesting point. I suppose the lack of variation on the Zero means that efficiency is reduced. But the dexterity more than makes up for it. The greater field testing of the leaf is simply due to the low cost and mass availability. That's what makes the leaf mall so interesting. The mass production led to overwhelming power, particularly in the Gripes incident. In that conflict, it was the abundance of the leaf model that allowed for the swift victory. I'm sure Cryptid is familiar. Which model do you prefer? Mmm. Hmm. hmm. Zero, because I just think of wing zero. I agree, perhaps it's the design. There are subtle curves and the expert engineering is sublime. I will concede that the engineering design of the zero model is particularly beautiful. I am perhaps focusing on the utility rather than overall appeal. I'm completely lost. Are you talking about the potential new upgrades for the mobile suit for planting? Oh no, we just have a shared interest in a certain old world franchise. Indeed, ahem. Perhaps we should return to our task. We seem to have been somewhat distracted. Right. Okay. So as you said that you've already made several changes to the basic design of the mobile suit, most recently for digging the tunnel, correct? Yes, I have managed to convince the city to use it in an official capacity. Thus far, we have used it twice. Through my research, the functionality has been increased considerably. Interesting. I think that it can be further repurposed for the project Greenland. I believe that the Little Woods project, while effective, was done by hand. Is that right? That's right. Wow, that must have been really hard work. Or this new effort, creating the straw grid by hand, will be far too time consuming. The mobile suit is needed for to create the foundations for the wood more efficiently. I'm listening. Uh-huh. Anyways. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <clears throat> I hereby declare the mobile suit mode F to be fully operational. We did it. The bureaucrats and botanists would be so impressed. But now, now the question is who among us will pilot this perfection? Perhaps a competition? For science, of course. You're not afraid this time. <clears throat> Operating an air cannon during a war and piloting a mobile suit mode F are not at all the same thing. Anyway, I believe the two of us are the only ones qualified to pilot it, after what happened to it during the tunnel project. I agree. Regardless, mode F is operation. So, if you're ready, we can start the pilot test right now. Mia Trudy can select the piloted mobile suit. Bring it on. Very well, I will go and fetch Mia Trudy. I have no idea what we're testing, but I assume it's... Partially just piloting it. Um, Director, do we really need to do this? We're just using it to plant trees faster, right? Mayor, when you asked me for upgrades, I agreed. Why? Because it's my dream to pilot a mobile suit. 
In peacetime, there are very stringent rules in place for this to happen, and I must observe them, or else the very fabric of authenticity would be shattered. What rules? Are they from Vega Five? That just there, okay? Are you going to stand between a man and his dream? Uh, no. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Are you both ready? Mayor, for the questions, please use the mobile suit code of practice issued by Vega Five. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm prepared. Are you? Let's do it. All right. Question one: If you encounter pedestrians walking in front of you while piloting the mobile suit, you should speed up or prepare for battle. Uh, take a detour. Good. Public safety is a priority. And Chi? There are no options available that fit with the adequate response. I would engage a power jump and avoid the situation entirely. It's basically a detour. Well, that is certainly not in the answers, but okay. Next question. This is a picture question. If you are the pilot of the green mobile suit, what should you do in the given situation? Um, it's not popped up. Avoid a collision and report to the authorities. I agree. Safety first. No matter what the other suit's doing. And you, director? There isn't an option here that is appropriate either. Of course. I would engage action mode and then stop in front of the other mobo suit and explain the rules they were violating. <laughs> <laughs> But wouldn't you run into them based on this scenario? Actually, I would be in action mode while engaging the power jump from the previous question, thus completely avoiding a collision. Oh, okay. Well, that ends the theory aspect of the exam. And now we are going to start the operational exam. We'll begin with Builder. Please take your place on the mobile suit. He really wants to pilot it, though. All right, what am I supposed to do? See. Great! It seems you have the basic controls mastered already. Next, please pick up the items from the table and place them in the designated location. Good! Oh, you did great! Director Chi, your turn now. All right. You got this, Chi. I am Gangnam. Oh. Oh. Poor guy. Oh, director, are you okay? Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm fine. I'm sorry, director. The builder passed everything with flying colors. They are clearly more proficient with the mobile suit. But he looks so happy. But no, I. <laughs> I am Gungum. Nah, Director Chi, keep at it. Director, don't worry. You'll still have the opportunity to practice and get better. Just keep it up. But for now, the builder will pilot the mobile suit for Project Greenland. We'll work out a specific planting schedule soon. I'll let you know. Ah, <sighs> I'd say that about do it for this exam. I'll see you all later. I need to go drink some tea. Oh, poor guy. My old colleague from Vega Five. This. Hmm. I have mail. Grace, cryptid, I'm fine. Seriously, don't worry about it. Though I must admit, I don't really have many friends here outside the archaeological circle. Not that I don't value their company. They're some of my closest companions, but it took a lot out of me when I lost my partner. Since then, I found it hard to connect to people. I hold everyone at arm's length, but I guess that's changed with you, didn't it? No matter how tough things get, I can always rely on you to make me feel better. Oh, and from Chi, dear mobile suit lover, now we. We got that. It's on me for not checking my 
mail early enough. I just realized I can go do some inspections while I wait for my stuff to get done. Might as well. I think we're gonna have some more stuff happening in the next couple days, just so y'all know. I guess it's time to put my builder to bed. All the preparations are complete. Everyone's in the outback. Let's head there together and we can start planting. Uh, great. Let's go. Let's head out. Thank you for coming, everyone. Before we get started, Professor Law would like to say a few words. It has been a pleasure working on him with all of you. I usually try and separate my work and my hobbies, but I admit my trip here has fulfilled both of those. It has truly been a very fulfilling adventure. And we truly appreciate you coming out here to help us. Yes. In such a short time, we went from almost giving up to being able to partially tame the desert. So, I say let's get started. I have accepted that I'm not Sandrock's resident mobile suit pilot. Will you two the honest? I suppose so. I'm so sorry, G. I didn't mean to take this from you. Alright, let's see how to do this. Excellent. Looks like everything is functioning as expected. Oh, I'm thrilled. Now we just have to wait a while to see how big the forest will grow. Yeah! <laughs> You're like a professional. I was impressed. Well, thank you. I kind of am a professional, actually. I'm very impressed with the expertise that Sandrock houses. I think Project Greenland is in capable hands. Nia and I will be departing tomorrow. I'm glad we're leaving on a positive note. I will send you my copy soon, Professor. Appreciate it. You worked on a project together? No, I found that Professor Law had a volume he'd missed. I have a spare. It would be a shame for him to miss the entire war in the Locket Arc. <laughs> oh my god, nerds. No, as someone who watches anime, I fully understand. What should I say? been a pleasure having you here. No, I will miss Nia. <laughs> well, don't worry too much. I'll be back soon. Well, it certainly has been wonderful having you both here. Make sure you keep me updated on the progress of the forest. There is much I believe we can learn from it. I look forward to returning in a few years to see a mighty green forest right here in the outback. Regardless, I think it is now time to retire to my room. I have a lot to prepare. Goodbye. Bye, guys. See me off tomorrow? I shall. Yes. Trudy, dear cryptid, has come to my attention that since the water level of the oasis has gotten so high, we might need a bridge to keep our town pleasantly walkable. Minister Burgess said you really wanted to build it for us, so I got a diagram from Heidi. Thanks again for your continued unwavering support for Sandrock. I mean, <laughs> want? Mm, maybe, I guess. Whatever.
Alright, let's see what I have to do to make it. Is it in here or... Hanging out with you has given me an idea for a new theme park. Attendees will all be given mini workshops where they can receive commissions and play with fantastical machines. I'll call it Builder World, where all your builder dreams come true. Catch you later. That's what I play every single day. Builder World. Today's Sunday. Of course, the children aren't in school on the Sunday. Got anything rare you don't want? You know, seeing some of the capes that he sells, ones that are similar to the one that I'm wearing right now, they kind of look like beach towels. I wonder if they are. Just what you wear as capes in the future. I guess for now, I'll put my builder to bed. Lo and Nia leave today. I should see them off at the station. I guess, yes, I should. Aww. Already? I was gonna say, Nia wasn't there. Oh my god, yes, thank you for staying. <laughs> Got you. I was so worried I'd missed you. You'd never have missed me. If you weren't there, I couldn't bear to leave. But I didn't want to tell you before, Oops. but I've talked to Mayor Trudy and I've rented an apartment at Old Town Lodge. Wonderful. That's right. I'm staying. That's amazing. Oh. 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 No, that's amazing. I knew you'd be happy. So, I'm sorry, but you'll be seeing a lot more of me from now on. <laughs> I'm so thrilled about it. I've been thinking about moving here since I finished my studies. It took a little longer than planned because I managed to get a mentorship with Professor Lua. But he said I can carry on working with Zeke in the moisture farm, and he'd give me post-grad credits for it. Anyway, I'm going to get everything set up. Take me out for dinner soon, okay? You got it. Hello. Ugh. I need to be careful in this weather. I can't have come all this way just to get blown away in a sandstorm. Catch you later. So is this going to be another story sandstorm to see if the uh, trees we planted survive? From Katori. Dear Cryptid, I've done a lot of thinking since Trudy's development meeting, and I think I've got it figured out. Would you mind meeting me near the entrance of the Valley of Whispers when you have time? I got a few other folks coming too. Thanks. Uh, yeah. I know what's gonna happen. I'm so excited she's gonna live her dream. At least I hope. And from Nia. First and foremost, I'm going to put that uh, bridge on. I have a bunch of my commissions going, so I can go install the bridge and then turn this into Mayor Trudy. Ah! Wow, amazing! 
amazing. This is a billion times better than me dedicating the rest of my life to being a human bridge. I would hope so. Please don't do that. You deserve better, Burgess. Thank you. Dedicating what? Or, well, yes, Cryptid. For you, I'm sure it was a simple task, but this bridge will no doubt be a landmark for years to come. You should be proud. Thanks. Sandrock really gets better every day because of you, Cryptid. Thanks a million. Thank you. I only got ten goals. Ah, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, Trudy. I have things to turn into you. I'm gonna go grab Nemo. Thank you. Nemo! 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 forever going to have this one random spot of a quest that no longer exists. That's okay. Choice to bring back to your family. Thanks for coming all the way out here, everyone. I thought it would be better for me to tell you all in person that I have decided to proceed with the Katori World Project. But what about your son? So, oh, that's great. Yeah, it wasn't an easy decision. But I think I have everything sorted out. I had some long correspondences over the telegraph with my ma and son, and we've decided to have Allo join me here in Sandrock. Now that Sandrock is on the up and up and there's a school, we thought it was for the best. I can't wait to meet him. Oh, that's great. Yeah, my son was fully supportive of my dream as well. In fact, he's really proud of me for attempting it. That's why I've decided to proceed no matter the challenges. I'm glad we're getting one more young citizen in Sandrock. So, what's the plan? I've heard you talk about this Katori world before, but never in detail. Hold on. I'm gonna move my VTuber over. I always feel a little bad when I'm in the shot. Too much, anyways. Right. Katori World. Before the Day of Calamity, the world used to have something called an amusement park. We've all seen the images and moving pictures, but what if we actually bring it back? Right here in the Valley of Whispers. What if we include some of the rides that we can only imagine now? As well as the lights, the food, the glamour. Think of the result. People will come from afar just to look at it in wonder. If we build it, they will come. I just know it. It'll be the happiest place in the free cities. That's a grand vision filled with uncertainties and pitfalls and a lot of other adjectives that are synonymous with difficult. But boy, does it sound like something I'd want Sandrock to have. Heck yeah, that was hilarious, though. <laughs> Sounds real difficult to build, though. Or one of them bigger cities would have done it by now. Yes, it will be high risk. That's why I've decided to leverage all of my current operations to get a loan for the land lease and the first couple of rides. If they prove successful, then I can get institutional investors like Musa to jump on board. Still, if City Hall or any other investors wants in, you're welcome to. But I'm forging ahead even if it's just me. That's my commitment. I'm in. Sure thing. We can discuss more details later. I'll want to see more details as well. Is there anything else you'll need City Hall to do? As a matter of fact, I do. While I'm getting my loan secured, I would like City Hall's help in making the Valley of Whispers a secure area. There are still dangerous creatures emerging from the ruins. It'd be great if we can... stop that... somehow? Oh, so that's why I'm here. Do you think it can be done, Sheriff? Yeah, sure. This has always been on my schedule. 
but the Silver Corps have been kind of busy with all the patrols lately, so we never got around to it. Jed told me before that all the creatures are coming from one breach, so all we gotta do is plug it. How about this? I'll gather a posse tomorrow, and we'll clean it up in one go. I can count on you, right? For sure. We'll stage operation from this point. Come here tomorrow when you're ready to go. Oh yeah, uh, bring that old vacuum you used before. There still might be excess gas floating about. Can never be too careful. Looks like you've got it under control, Sheriff. Thank you all for coming out today. I'm super excited to get this one started. Am I gonna have to wear my suit? I don't wanna. Whoa. Damn, get him, Trudy. Trudy and Justice straight up fighting them. It's amazing. After the sandstorm, I have to stack all my rocks again. Though maybe I'll find a cool shaped stone after the storm. Always good to have something to look forward to. Thanks a lot. I guess I'll put my builder to bed. Don B. Update. Burgess's sleepwalking has stopped. How fragile the human psyche. The thought that worries the shooey oasis could have such devastating effects. It frightens me. Good thing Minister Burgie Boy has pals like us to help him out. Here's a little extra something from the church. Sweet. Hey girl, what's up? Oh good! I was afraid you might have left already. I've had this idea at work recently. And I just need a teeny weeny little, really, really tiny little favor. I've been studying soil nutrients with Zeke, and I want to cultivate a terrarium, a kind of ranch for sandworms. <laughs> it's a really common method used for improving soil nutrient structure. I studied it pretty extensively at school. Design-wise, it'd just be a pretty simple but sturdy box that can hold the worms in soil. Oh, it needs some sort of heating to keep a constant temperature. That way it can be consistent. So, what do you think? Could you build me a sandworm terrarium? Of course. I knew I could count on you. I asked Director Chi to make some adjustments based on the terrarium I used at school. I must say, despite his attitude issues, he's really good at his job. Here's the diagram with everything I'll need. When you've built it, we need to put in some paper, water, and soil. Oh, <laughs> and some food for the little guys, of course. Then we can put in some sandworms and we're good to go. When it's ready, just bring it to me and we'll start farming sandworms. It's going to be so much fun! Thank you so much for doing this. You have no idea how much this is going to help me in my experiments. You're the best! That's adorable. Well, let's see what that takes then. Guess I'll head out to the uh, valley. Where do I meet? Um, ah, right here. All right, everyone's here. Let's go over the plan. Okay, our goal is to uh get the creatures back to their natural underground habitat through this breach located here. Is that code for the ruins, sir? Yes, it is. Anyway, I reckon we ought to spread out around the breach point and defeat a few of the stragglers outside so that they'll all make a run for their natural underground habitat. Then me, Logan, and Unsure will hold them from coming out again while the builder seals the hole. Fair enough. That's plan A. If things go sideways, I still got plan B through F. I'll talk about them only if I need to. Understood. You ready? 
Got everything you need? Weapons, medicine, you know the drill. I'm ready. Okay, let's ride. Head for your spot. Get him on the run, then meet up at the breach point. Man, what a workout. You guys doing okay? No sweat. I've not been taking out anything. One of the mutants threw a pretty rock at me. I almost said thank you. <laughs> uh, cool. Now, think you can fill up this hole? Hey, uh, Justice, wait. This breach, it's like they cut it open. Yeah? Even if we seal it here, what's stopping them from opening another one? Ah, good point. All right, plan B. Unsure will stay here and keep them inside. Me, Logan, and the Builder will go into the ruins and find the deepest breach and seal it off there. How's that? I kind of want to hear plan C. Let's do it. You know, that's fine. Ah, uh, the Greeno factory, of course. Ah, careful now. We don't know how deep this goes. Unexplored ruins give me the creeps. You never mutants, monsters, robots, the ghosts. Eh, he'll be fine. <laughs> hey, man, I've seen stuff. Here we are. Looks like an old world factory of some sort. What do y'all think this is? They make shampoo. Evil shampoo. Shampoo? You serious? I mean, yeah, that's what they claimed. Yeah. Unfortunately. Hey, you don't reckon these mutants are the results of using too much of it, do you? Oh, yes, I do. All right, let's roll. Looks to me like there's still a bunch of green gas inside. Time to take out your vacuum. Ah, be prepared. I reckon there will be tougher battles ahead. Probably. get greeno like this you mean i can actually totally recolor my horses from here excellent come on let's see if there's a way through this door let's see if there's another way around Hmm. Good question. Anyway, oh, yep. This is their way to climb up, and there sure is. Hmm. Look at that. Ah, it just don't make sense. Why are so many mutants here? Could it be the Rat Queen? Maybe they came from somewhere else? Nah, these guys are the same as the ones we fought before. Gotta be from the same place. Look, they're just repeating the same thing over and over. Nothing's even there, they're just digging away. You know, rumor has it some of the mutants underground used to be humans. The Age of Darkness changed them, made them vicious and savage. Yeah, I heard that before as well. That's dark. Come on. I reckon we're getting close. Follow their numbers, and we'll know where they're coming from. This place is really interesting. Oh, right. Can't step near those. That green stuff is poison. Better not step on that yet. Maybe use the vacuum to clean it up.
Time to use the vacuum. The gate's Let's... over there. Let's find a way to open it. Let's see. All right, it's open. Let's head in. That it? No. Down here. Oh boy. Place looks toxic. <laughs> I mean, I guess it must be, right? Dang, even for an up to no good company like these guys, this is a bit much, ain't it? Can't believe they sold this junk. I know, right? <laughs> See that pipe? That's where the chemicals go. Maybe if we stop the flow, we can make sure that there ain't gonna be any more mutants in the Sandrock area again. Plan C? All right, I guess. You really expect me to just jump down there? Alrighty. Hard. All right. Gotta be careful, I guess. Don't want to fall into this stuff. It does damage us. Where's it going? We come in peace! Oh! <laughs> that ain't gonna work! <laughs> Had to try. I feel bad for these things. <laughs> Careful. There's going to be more where that came from. Listen. Let's take a look. All right. Yes. Shh. They're sleeping. Better not disturb them. Let's take a poke around. Wastewater treatment rules. Wastewater treatment pit needs to be regularly cleaned to prevent the pesky government watchdogs from finding out it exists. Use the cleaning function. Wastewater electricity lines need to be aligned properly to work. Keep them tidy. Greeno returned by customers can be poured directly into the wastewater treatment pit. It's all the same. When turning on the pit, make sure you double check that there are no workers inside. Take Jerry as an example for you all. We do not provide we do not provide compensation for accidents. Rest in peace, Jerry. So wait a second. They're using wastewater to make this stuff? We can use this machine. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jerry. Uh we can clean up the mutants. You're saying we use that cleaning function, right? Well, I reckon that ought to work. Alright, let's poke around. See if we can't find a way to start this cleaning. I think it's on the other end. Let me see if there's anything else to gather first. Nope. All right. Huge machine. It's just a mess of broken wires. Well, looks to me like we got to match the wires and align them properly, right? Uh, maybe you can take a look. Whoa, check this out. Do you see how his eyes are? I think it's the lighting, but they're like glowing. Oh, here. Okay. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Okay. With me on it? Oh no! Wastewater treatment operational. Commencing cleaning treatment. Cabin door closing in three, two, one. Sorry, guys. Wait.
Wastewater treatment complete. The idea that we probably killed them is bad. Done. Looks like the mutants are flushed away. Well, I'd call this mission a success. Always nice to work with you two. Let's roll out. Uh, give me a minute. Easy. I want to take a poke around too. See if we're missing any monsters. Uh, sure. Come see me when you're ready. All right. Well, yep. There's lots of green now, apparently. Also purple. Didn't realize that was a thing. Ready to roll out? I am. Good. Let's go. Sir, how did it go? We got it done. The builder plugged a big hole down there. Won't be seeing any mutants around these parts no more. Well, how goes your end? Nothing came out except you guys. I was counting rocks. That's about it for today. Good job, everyone. I'll go tell Mayor Trudy the news. Maybe we should all team up again in the future. Sand Rock's ultimate team. Sounds real nice. Maybe something more straightforward. Uh, right, well, what do you think? Sand and Rock Squad. <laughs> sand and Rock? Uh, why did you need to split up Sand Rock? Come on, Sheriff. Who cares about the name? Yeah, that's right. Come on. Sand Rock Super Squad. Roll out. How about the Sand Rock Sheriffs? That'd be dishonest, sir. You're the only sheriff. Why don't you come up with a name, Logan? How about I don't care? Oh, I got one. No fun Logans. Absolutely. No fun at all. <laughs> Guys, I spent forever looking for treasure and you're still here. Beard. Actually, it looks like Justice got back first. Oh, I think I might as well put my builder to bed. You know? I think I'm going to leave this here. We have accomplished a lot in this episode too, which is very exciting. And I think we have a decent amount more to do, but we are surely nearing the end of this game now. Um, anyhow, if you made it this far, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you are excited to see what happens because I certainly am. And if you did like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of me, but you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and sometimes extras and shorts randomly throughout the week. I also stream on Twitch. Recently, it's been Fridays and Saturdays, so if you want to see me live, come on by then. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.